and good afternoon and good evening. And Afitsugi, welcome to Captain's Call. Captain Steve Weeman here and Afitsugi, commanding officer. We have Master Chief Wilkins at the other end of the table. How are you doing there, Master Chief? I'm doing wonderful, Captain. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. And, uh, you know, if you look at the uh, the building around that we're in, uh, kind of looks camouflaged. I think we probably blend in pretty good with the walls here. What do you think, CMC? I, I think we could stand against the wall and not <laughs> okay. even know we were there. Outstanding. So, uh, yes, this is uh, our world famous Building 22. Uh, NA, uh, NAF at Sugi's uh, Naval Security Forces building. Uh, this is where it all happens here. Uh, you know, the, the security, AT, anti-terrorism, and, uh, and all the uh, law enforcement, you know, keeping good order and discipline happens right in this building here. And uh, we are happy to have a great sailor on board today, and that is MA3 Nicholas Sellers. How are you doing, Pastor Sellers? Doing good, sir. Doing all right. So, uh, so thank you for coming on the show. Uh, security, you have so many great and awesome uh, folks here. Uh, really sharp, and uh, now you have a, a very special uh, part of the, uh, you know, the MA rating, and, uh, and that's uh, with the MWDs, is that right? Yes, so, sir. So can you tell us what, uh, what your specialty is here, how you got into it, and uh, what do you do with MWDs, and what does an MWD stand for? Well, sir, MWD stands for Military Working Dog, uh, Military Working Dog Handler, and so my job consists of daily care and training of the MWDs, and then to... Uh, to perform base security, such as keeping contraband, such as explosives or drugs off base, and to protect the base from such. Yep, and outstanding. So, yeah, the canines uh, provide an incredible presence. You know, they're one, they're, they, uh, they immediately attract your attention, right? And uh, they provide a, a great deterrence and a great presence here. Uh, another thing, t you know, for a lot of our folks, you know, they, uh, they provide a great uh, safety measure, too. You know, that they know that these highly trained individuals, uh, these dogs, are out there protecting us, and, uh, and we couldn't do it without you. So, great job. I'm impressed by the MWDs all the time. Uh, you guys are so well trained together, and uh, mm -hmm. I've learned so much just being here, uh, working with you in the, in the kennel. And uh, we do have the best kennel in the Navy. I am uh, absolutely sure about that. We've got uh, Chief Draper, MA1 Reyes, you know, working some great stuff and uh, training you up. I know you're pretty new to the Navy, but uh, in your year and some change that you've been on here, uh, I've seen you mature a great deal. So it's a nice serving with you. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. So we got a couple of notes. We'll, uh, we'll talk with you a little bit more uh, later, MA3, uh, the second part of the show. And uh, let's, uh, let's see what's going on around the base, then, Master Chief. All right, so the first thing we have is a Navy Ball Car Wash. July 15th, the Navy Ball Committee will be hosting a fundraising car wash from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the wash rack. So bring your car and help support the Navy Ball. Main gate closure. On Saturday, July 12th, main gate will be closed from 8 a.m. to noon due to scheduled maintenance on the inbound and outbound lanes. The West Gate will be open during this time. For any questions or concerns, please call 264-0115. Okay, Fleet and Family Support Center July classes. Lots of stuff going on out there. Many offerings in July. For a full listing, contact the FFSC uh, Facebook page. And uh, here are some of the highlights. You want to see Asia using space available travel? Sign up for an informational class Tuesday, July 22nd from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. If you're a first-time sponsor, sign up for the sponsorship class Wednesday, July 23rd from 9 to 11, and then help make a difference in the community. Volunteer orientation will be Thursday, July 31st from 1 to 2 p.m. And for all these classes, you can call by calling, you can register by calling 264-3372. All right, MWR to win, a lose to win challenge. Shed some extra weight and... Get some great workouts and motivations with MWR Lose to Win Challenge from July 7th through September 4th. Win awards and prizes uh, for the top male and female body fat loss. Call Ranger Jim's Health and Wellness Center at 264-3619 for more details. Adult and Pediatric CPR and AED and First Aid. American Red Cross has an adult and pediatric CPR, AED, and first aid course coming up on Saturday, July 19th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pre-registration is required. For more information, contact at Sugi's Red Cross office at 264-6794 or by emailing at sugi at redcross.org. Okay, Vacation Bible School is coming up. Join us this year's VBS, Weird Animals, Where Jesus' Love is One of a Kind. VBS will run from Monday, August 4th through Friday, August 8th from 5 to 7 p.m. at Shirley Lanham Elementary School. You can register at the chaplain's office or call 264-3202 for more details. 
All right, the USO Japan 7th Annual Service Salute Gala. USO Japan is hosting their 7th Annual Service Salute Gala on Saturday, September 6th at the Nusano. This gala honors U.S. and Japanese military throughout Japan for their professional achievement, volunteerism, and leadership. Contact the USO Japan at 241 three six zero zero for tickets or more information okay so that's uh that's the first part of our show lots of good things going on it is summertime a very warm day kind of our first hot summer day uh finally it's july and uh, i want to say uh kind of a shout out right now for everybody who participated in the july 4th celebration this past weekend uh absolutely spectacular show we worked through the uh through the rain and the drizzle pretty much all day uh security guys were out there in force and uh I would just say it was a very successful, you know, little uh, little piece of America right here in Japan. I thought it was a great day. It was absolutely perfect. The yeah. fireworks that evening just was a perfect cap to a great event. Exactly. So thanks to everybody who contributed to that, all of our musical entertainment. Uh, Seko did a great job with his wife uh, and, uh, and young daughter there, so great job out there performing. And, uh, and that's about it. So uh, we'll be back after MWR tells us what's going on around the Kanto Plain and here at NAF Itsugi. So please stay tuned. We'll be uh, back with the second part of the show in just a minute. Come on out to Taylor Field on Saturday, July 26, for our next Sounds of Summer concert. We'll have three local bands playing a variety of music from 4 to 8 p.m. for the whole family to enjoy. Take advantage of Child and Youth Program's Parents' Night Out on Friday, July 18th from 6.30 to 11 p.m. and have a date night. Space is limited, so be sure to sign up by Tuesday, July 15th or call 264-3588 at Central Registration. Rosters are due Friday, August 1st for summer basketball and tournaments beginning on Monday, August 11th. Sign up now or call 264-3619. Sailors E1 through E4 can now take advantage of our late shows every Friday and Saturday nights at 10 p.m. at Cinema 77. Get your ticket and mini combo for free by signing up at the Corner Pocket Cash Cage in Building 77. Space Day stands for Space Available, and it's for anyone trying to f travel overseas or around Japan. We have mission flights here at Atsugi, and if we had space for anyone and you needed to fly anywhere, you can get on there. Um, we normally fly to Korea or around Japan, sometimes Hawaii or Guam, sometimes I've seen Alaska and so on. Uh, just basically we just go wherever the mission needs to, to go. The type of planes we have are C-40, C-12, C-130, C-35, those are basically what we have. Uh, some are bigger than the others, the C-40, C-130 are the bigger planes, and C-35 and C-12 are the smaller planes. <laughs> Space available is for active duty and their spouses, also retirees or reservists, and anyone who has a SOFA stamp in their passports. For active duty personnel, you will need to be on leave to sign up for Space A, and you will need to be on leave when you return. To travel Space A without your sponsor, you would need to go to your admin, PSD or whoever it is, and get a space available letter from them. To do that, you will need a power of attorney, and you will also need your ID to get that, and a copy of your orders. Recently we had a trip to Korea. We had a lot of Space A go on there, active duty and spouses. Uh, they go there for shopping or to get certain things made. It's good food in Korea. Uh, just, just a good place to shop if you have a chance. Space A is just one of the many perks of being stationed at NAFS Sugi. Because I always know that I could take leave and take my spouse and children and just go anywhere, just travel anywhere that the NAFS Sugi is taking us.
Okay, welcome back to today's Captain's Call. We've got a, uh, in the other uh, part of our show today is going to be featuring some uh, BZs and some others, and uh, we've got a couple interesting ones today. Uh, but first, I want to, you know, say hi to Pastor Sellers, MA3, a Master at Arms, third class petty officer, and uh, welcome back to the show, MA3. Thank you, sir. So, uh, so you're from uh, Texas, and uh, we have a little discussion offline here about the, all the uh, wonderful people here in the room from uh, Texas today, and you happen to be one of them. Uh, so uh, anybody back home you'd like to say hello to? I'd like to say hello to my parents, um, see how they're doing in Canyon Lake. Uh, that's about, that's about <laughs> it. That's about it. Well, uh, you know, to mom and dad uh, sellers out there, um, thank you for, uh, for raising such a great son. Uh, this young man's doing amazing stuff out here. So uh, I know we're probably 13, 14 time zones away from, uh, from, <laughs> from middle of America. Uh, but this guy's doing great stuff, and uh, you know we were kind of joking offline. You know, I remember him checking in, uh, just a young MA, and uh, you know, kind of he, he'd been through the school, but hadn't had experience you know, in the past uh, year or so. He's done some amazing stuff, and he's really come a long way. So uh, you should be very proud of him because we are, and he's doing a great job here in Japan, where it matters the most. Uh, we are keeping the bad guys out, keeping the uh, the folks inside, you know, good order and discipline. That's all what we're all about, and uh, he plays a very vital role here. So uh, so great job out there. And uh, you should be very proud because because uh, we are the same. So thanks for joining us, MA3. Thank you, sir. All right. So uh, I think we got a couple uh, folks that uh, want to see if we can do a little bit better out there, CMC. Maybe we can help them out. Yes, sir. We have a couple concerns. The first concern we have comes from a local Japanese national and uh, concerns SOFA members using the bike facilities at the Sagamino station uh, without paying for them. Uh, you know, the bottom line is those bike racks are there for people to use, but they are on a pay-as-you-use uh, service. Uh, you have to pay for it, and if you're a SOFA member and you're out there and you are not paying to use those, uh, you need to figure out how to pay for it and start using the facilities and services properly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You Pay as you go, right? Absolutely. You know, there's, Absolutely. Not, you know, there's, just, yeah. there's a lot of things here uh, in Japan where when you're paying, it's on the honor system, mm -hmm. where yeah, if you right. use something, you pay it just like uh, the bike parking there is just like uh, most parking lots around mm -hmm. here where you pull up, you park, and, you know, it's your honor that, money that yeah. has you pay for it. Yeah. You know, the other other option, uh, you can park at the, uh, take your bike up to Sakami Otsuka, you know, where our, uh, we have the sofa parking lot there. We do have people who park their cars, and uh, you can lock your bike up there. It's a very short walk, uh, right. you know, a couple, two, three hundred yards to the train station there. So recommend you do that if you uh, choose not to pay. Uh, but if you do use the paper, uh, paper use stalls, uh, pay up. It's, uh, that's what we got to do. And I'll, I'll just uh, end with this for that there. If, if you use it, you don't pay, and you get caught, you are subject to Japanese prosecution. Absolutely. Yeah, good point. All right, our next concern uh, has to do with uh, our open base events okay. or our closed base events mm -hmm. where uh, we're providing live music. Uh, the question is, can we provide some R&B and soul music as well? Okay. Well, CMC and I are going to uh, tune our pianos and our uh, keyboards and, and our guitars. We're going to go out there and play some R&B. So uh, you ask for it, you're going to get it. No, just, uh, just kidding. Um, you know, it's a great question. Uh, you know, Ron and uh, the folks that do arrange the music for these, uh, for these open base events, uh, they, they don't have a, uh, an extensive uh, talent pool out there. You know, one, we're in Japan, and so we don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of American groups uh, nearby. Uh, so we, uh, whenever we do these open base events, we do solicit for the talent out there. They've got a long list of folks who can, uh, who can perform. And not all of them are R&Bs. We do right. get some country. We get uh, some of the local ones do a great job, and uh, they come out to many of them. So we appreciate their help. Uh, but it's just a matter of uh, picking. So it's not uh, as if we're discriminating against R&B music lovers. Uh, we just don't have a great uh, pool out there. Uh, Ron did mention that we did have a, a salsa, a Latin salsa sounds uh, group recently, although it wasn't an open base event. Uh, so uh, they are definitely looking for R&B mm. talent. And if you find one out there, please uh, point them out, get the card over to Ron, and we'll give them a call, and we'll have them out there. It's Absolutely. Just, you know. And if you have the talent, contact our folks over at MWR or register so that you, uh, you can be called and asked to perform. We look forward to uh, listening to the various choices of music Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. You know, and uh, we've been trying to get Jay-Z out here for a few years, you know. He keeps turning us down, but, you know, <laughs> hey, we keep trying, so... Uh, but thanks for the comment, appreciate it, and uh, we'll see what we can do about uh, doing some more in the future. Thanks.
All right, well, that's all we have for concerns today, okay. Captain. We, we do have a few Bravo Zulus, though. That's part of the show, and MA3 uh, Sellers is going to help us out. <clears throat> Service provider, AIMD. We would once again like to thank AIM AIMD for their most valued support in allowing us to use their most excellent conference room for the FFSC five-day Sapper VA and four-day DV VA training. We have added an important change to align with Navy policy and regulations, I, IRT civilian clothing standards, and have raised the bar to ensure our future male students wear long jeans, slacks, and a collared shirt, an equivalent for female students, no shorts or appropriate attire. We encourage students to attend class in civilian clothes to enhance the learning environment and remove potential barriers that could be real perceived for example, rank by students. We learned that asking students to wear, the, to wear to class what they would wear to church or job interview proved to be quite open to interpretation. So we've evaluated our dress code, note, noted above to ensure compliance by all. Once again, thank you for supporting the FFSC and NAFA Sapper and FAP DV VA programs. That's a mouthful. <laughs> That's a lot of acronyms there, but uh, we all know what they stand for. Okay. Uh, Ranger Jim, right? Ranger Jim. This red, red, white, and glow run was so much fun. Thank you guys for putting together such a great event. Lena and the rest of the people there help, helping were great, especially the guys at the turn right before Tower 3102 who had their car parked and were blasting music for us. It's awesome, and I hope we can have more events like this and possibly our own color run. Or in San Diego, we did a rock and roll marathon as well. I think it's a great way to get entire families active and a fun way to get new people in, into it. This was my first one, and I had a blast. Family readiness and counseling. The counseling office provided excellent service. Dr. Jones was extremely helpful and professional. The office staff at the front desk were very helpful and accurate when scheduling appointments. Overall, I can't say enough for good things about this office. That's great, you know, and uh, it's good to hear those sorts of things. Uh, Fleet Family is uh, underrated, and uh, they do get a lot of business out there, but I think we can, uh, we can handle more. Um, bottom line is you get, uh, you get a victim or a potential victim in there, or someone needs some assistance yeah. before the problem gets out of hand, and then it becomes a crisis. And, uh, and Dr. Jones and Heidi, and uh, all the folks down there who, uh, who work, Kay, who does the scheduling, and, uh, and the people who do, uh, do the amazing work down there, um, we can't thank you enough. Thanks for what you do, and uh, thanks for this individual who obviously benefited from their talents. Yeah, absolutely. There are certainly true professionals yeah. there. And the, uh, the red, white, and glow run, you know, it, it was challenged with the weather that day, and it still went off without a hitch. That's great. Uh, there was a lot of great participants, and everyone had a lot of fun, and I'm sure we'll be able to do something else like that in the future. <laughs> good deal. All right, well, thanks for the feedback. That's good to uh, let us know what to schedule, you know, on down the road. So uh, we thank you guys for showing up for the uh, captain's call today. Appreciate you watching. And uh, Pastor Sellers from uh, from Texas, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, sir. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. These are meant to be fun and uh, to get you on there and to get you highlighted and uh, to, to let everybody know what a great sailor you're doing. So so thanks for being a great sailor here at Atsugi. Thanks, sir. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, CMC. Good show today. And uh, we'll see everybody next week on the Captain's Call. And thanks for tuning in.